Well, it's always a focus on improvement, getting our guys better. We have a young team, so I think the experience has really benefited a lot of our young guys. They just they're a lot more comfortable out there than they were two, three weeks ago. At the same time, we got a long way to go. We've got a lot of progress to make on both ends of the floor. And again, with a young team, we're never going to stop emphasizing improving every day. Yeah, I think he's kind of got his feet under him. It, it took a few games, and you know, Brad's been a phenomenal player at VCU for a long time. But when you change the personnel around a player, that has an effect. And I think what you're seeing now is he's settling in. He's getting more comfortable with the Darius Theuses and Briante Webers and guys like that that he didn't play as much with in the past. Do you approach this game as just another game, or do you embrace it for what it is? Sort of like City Rob, Ryan Wright, all that stuff. Both. I mean, every game's important, and in any game, you know, obviously we're going to go out to try to win. So that doesn't change at all. But it is a special game in that it is a rivalry game. You know, Richmond has a great program, and you know they're right down the street. So it's an opportunity for us to you know, see what we can do against a high-level program that's 10 minutes away. Well, it's great to see the, the interest in, in basketball in the city of Richmond. And you know the, the game's been sold out for, for a long time. And uh, then again, our last six games have been sold out. So you know, I, I think it's a testament to our fans. You know what what uh, what they've done at the Siegel Center and the atmosphere they've created. But certainly, it'll be even more electric uh, tomorrow night with it being the crosstown uh, rivalry. And you know, I'm excited to, to be on the home side of that one. Every game is really important to me. I mean, we 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 you know we, we try to put our heart and soul into preparing for every single opponent. Uh, Richmond's a game that we know we're going to play every year. It's a game that gets a lot of attention. Uh, it, it, it matters uh, to, to so many people in this city. And this year it's a game that's on national television. So it's easy. If you're not motivated as a coach or as a player uh, through the roof for this game, then there's something wrong with you. Well, you know, when they lost Kevin Anderson, you know, you felt like you could take a little bit of a sigh of relief. But, you know, now they added uh, Kendall Anthony and... Uh, you know, he's a different sort of player, but uh, a very dynamic player in a lot of the same ways. Uh, we're going to have to do a good job keeping him out of the lane. He's shooting the ball well. He's shooting the ball terrific from three or, and from the free throw line. So we're going to need to do a great job on him. They have other good guards as well. I think Lindsey and Brothers are really doing well for them. Uh, so, you know, they, they've got a nice nucleus of guards that, that are going to be around for a while as well. Well, basketball is basketball. I mean, that, with, with today's day and age, by the time you get to college, you know, you've played against high-level competition. You've played in, in, in tough environments in different places. But, you know, hopefully the Siegel Center does provide a unique experience for our visitors. Uh, but at the same time, the, the home court advantage uh, it, it is not by itself going to win the game for us. I mean, we have to be the aggressors. Uh, we've got to play relentless basketball. We've got to play our style of play. And I think if we do that, then certainly the home court advantage will only help us. Last year was last year's last year. I mean, it's a completely different cast of characters. Justin Harper's gone, Kevin Anderson's gone, Dan Jarrow's gone, Joey Rodriguez is gone, Jamie Skeen's gone, Brandon Rossell, Ed Nixon. So it's a completely new game. Uh, it's still Richmond versus VCU this year. Fortunately, it's at our place. But, you know, whoever wins this game tomorrow night, it's going to be a, a, a new cast of characters that steps up and makes plays, and that's on either side of the ball.